a warm welcome to, to you all to our 30th anniversary reunion. Um, some of you are here for the first time. A very warm welcome to you, and I'll, uh, I'll mention a few names of those that have come from, uh, from the Four Corners later at the AGM. Um, basically, the uh, we've got a, a short while now for you to enjoy a wander around the school. The Commandant and the RSM have opened up the school uh, to allow you to go and, and have a look around. They've changed the place so much. Uh, this, this used to be the snook here. What's yeah. locked? Used to be um, a snook and used to stand out here. Well, you did something wrong. And you go in there in front of Derek on the charge, and then they charge you like a court. And then you say, Six of the best. Then you had to go and stand there, then. And then you go into that room and you go over the pool table or oh, snooker table. Like that. Yeah. And you get six of the best. And you couldn't, you couldn't sit down after. Yeah, why? Well, I had 136 while I was here, all for smoking, and I don't smoke today. This weekend is about bringing together uh, groups of old boys, uh, school boys, and uh, we have uh, members from the school uh, dating back to the early 1940s, um, up to the, uh, the sort of the younger boys uh, from the, the early 90s and the mid 90s, because the school closed and was handed over to the Ministry of Defence in 1995. So uh, basically we have members from all over the world joining us this weekend for our annual reunion and uh, annual general meeting. That used to be a big one here, isn't it? There is, still there, still there. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Could be. Turn it into a toilet. Yeah. There's a big coil of rope here on the windowsill, and that was a fire escape. We threw it out and climbed down. Is it your life? It's, uh, but looking back was a waste of time. Ten years at sea was, you know. I could have oh, spent. Yeah, but yeah, you yeah, didn't change because we had some great times oh, at sea. Yeah. But and that's it, the best time, weren't we? But the problem is, when you come ashore, you get married, you come ashore, and uh, you can't do anything. You don't want to go there again, no. no. What good's anybody with a sextant coming ashore, you know? Nobody wants you have to, you know. Yeah, yeah. And so you have to start your life all over again. The married men aboard ships, they weren't happy people, really, were they? No, they weren't. No, no. Pine for the families, was it? Yeah. <laughs> and they had to stay aboard while we were running up ashore in places like Hong Kong and Singapore. Yeah. <laughs> it was strict. But the instructors were fair, you know. I mean, they had boys of 14, 15, had to keep them under control, so there was a lot of discipline. But it turned out for the best. It made, it made you realise what life was all about, you know. Because you all come from different backgrounds, but you're all in the melting pot, you know. And it was their job to make sure that you come out that melting pot better than you went in it. When the school unfortunately uh, was closed in the, in the mid 90s, um, it was actually originally going to be sold off to a, uh, a developer who, uh, and I understood there was going to be, a, uh, it was going to be sold as a private home. Um, the Ministry of Defence and the Nuffield Trust uh, got involved and saw this as a great opportunity to, to make it the home of the Joint Service Mountain Training Centre. So, so this basically is a tri-service uh, organisation that, that teaches all the instructors across the Army, Air Force and Navy um, in, the, uh, in all aspects of mountain leadership and sail training. We've been very fortunate that the, uh, the string of commandants, the, the, officers, uh, the commanding officers of these establishments have always been very supportive to our association. And um, they, they have been um, allowed us to always come and have our uh, AGM and our lunches here during the day. And they've very kindly offered us uh, the opportunity next year of having the anniversary dinner uh, in the grounds here of the school in a big marquee. Um, and that is one of, the, uh, one of the items for debate this afternoon. I come every year, but when I was actually here, it was 1952 till 1954. Drake, and uh, I was a member of the band as well. Old Joe Strong was the name of the band leader. Do you know the names of all the instructors who was here then? It was Irving was a skipper, Derek was the mate, uh, Joe Strong was a secretary, uh, McGreech was the PTI 
and that thing was uh, sales and things like that. Aye. And then when I left, I joined the New Zealand shipping company and the ship called the Rikaya, a cadet ship. So I'd be coming back for the reunions every year. Was it a happy time for you? It was. But you didn't realise it at the time. It's only after that you realise how good it was. And uh, the, when I was in the army, it was a doctor after being here. There was no problem. Yeah. Well, it yeah. sort of chills people together because of their experience here, I should imagine, of what they went through, and it seemed to chill people. To, well, if, you know, if you can put up with that kind of. Some people had it pretty rough here, I suppose. Well, you can stand on your own two feet, definitely. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. No, we'd well, in them days. Well, you, everybody did the same thing, didn't they? You know, you went on parade, you cleaned your boots same time, you at the same time. Oh, yes. I didn't realise the building was so heavy. I was going to say, I thought we'd already got rid of the ashes. I know, I didn't realise it was so heavy. Has he left his wallet in there? He's left his wallet in there, has he? All right. So, <laughs> my name is uh, Reverend Emlyn Cadwalla de Williams, uh, rector now of this parish, and uh, I was contacted by uh, the Indefatigable Old Boys Trust uh, by Steve and asked if I would uh, receive a chest in memory of uh, Bill Smith. Uh, from his daughter Norma, uh, which I agreed to do. Uh, and we're going to welcome them into church, bless the chest to the use of the Sunday School, and then my colleague, Reverend Tracy Jones, uh, will lead us in some prayers, and, uh, and then we'll give uh, the old boys some time just to spend in church. We are gathered here today to remember Bill. We give you thanks with his daughter today, Lord, for his life, for the memories that Norma holds in her heart of glad and sad times. But we bless this chest, O Lord, for the use of our Sunday school and young people here. But we also lay it here to keep memories, Lord, the chest full of memories. He doesn't have a phone call. Uh, okay. I've got we have any? I'm sure we have got uh, Dad won the chest at, uh, at a raffle at one of the uh, the AGMs and um, he offered it to me and I said, well, Dad, uh, people come to the house, they don't know the significance because they're not involved with the MD. And he said, well, I'd like you to go to the church for the children's toys in or whatever they wanted to use it for. So um, this is what today's about. Yeah, we're bringing the, the chest along in Dad's memory. Over the weekend, of course, um, uh, many, of the, many of our members turn up on the Friday night. Um, in fact, many of them were still in the bar at six o'clock this morning, I'm sure, because I heard some of them going to bed as I was getting up, um, because it's the first time many of them have got to see, uh, see each other for many years. In fact, some of them since they were at the school. Um, Today, of course, is our uh, the opportunity to walk around the grounds. The, the Commandant, again, has very kindly allowed us to have free access uh, around the establishment. Um, we will have our AGM, we'll have lunch in a moment, a beautiful buffet lunch which the school put on for us, followed by our AGM, and then tonight we have our dinner in the Carrot Brand Hotel up on the hill. And, uh, and I'm sure at, uh, at, at sort of the early hours of tomorrow morning, some of the older members will still be in the bar. So, because there are so many stories and so many wonderful life stories being shared uh, over this weekend. I'll, uh, I never regret what I went through there. It was good. It was, by and large, it was good. Well, we had great times there, we had bad times. You remember the great times, not the bad times, so much. And all these lot here. You know, although I'm not, I'm not one of their era, I made some feel at home with them. And that's how I feel bonded, you know. You know, I look forward to it. 
great. Won't be without it. <laughs>